it's Jodit here with Jodit Designs. Did you know that you can color, like color a coloring page in GoodNotes app on your iPad? Well, you absolutely can, and today I'm going to show you how. I am using a coloring page from the Lamb of God Bible Study and Scripture Writing Journal. Uh, let me show you. Go to the home page here. This is a digital journal that I created to uh, that's got 25 days for reading and writing about the Lamb of God. So it's got pages for each day to write, but then it's also got some coloring pages. And so I'm going to demonstrate how you can color a coloring page within GoodNotes app. And I will put a link down below if you want to grab this journal. It's uh, You can find it on my website at jodet.com, but I'll put the exact link down in the description. So let's get started with coloring. So first thing you want to do is, I find it's helpful to actually choose a coloring palette first. Let me go up here to my pens. And what I'm actually going to be using for most of the coloring, um, I'm going to use the pen for the letters here, but for these flowers and all of this background, I am not going to use the pen. I'm actually going to use the highlighter. And if I click on here, you can see these are my presets. So I've already got some colors chosen that I want to be working with, and I've added them to my presets so that they're quick and easy and I can be consistent with the colors I use. So, and I've already started here, so I'm going to make all the flowers this purple, purple and yellow and this rosy pink color. So let's start with this flower right over here and I'm going to color it just like that one. So I've got the um, the purple color and I'm going to start with the, and I've got the highlighter pen and what I love about this is that you can see that I've gone over the black edges here but when I lift up my pen it pops behind all the black so that makes it easier to have your page look neater um, than it does otherwise. But, but the other thing that you have to remember is if you pick up your pen when you're doing the highlighter and then you start again, wherever you go on top of the other that you've already written, it's going to make it darker. So what you need to do is for every area that you fill in, you need to do it all in the same stroke without fill it, without picking up your pen or your pencil like that. And I have it on my pen is a fairly small size so that I can get into these smaller places here on the flowers. It doesn't matter if I miss a spot, I can just go back. As long as I don't pick up my pen until I'm done. One more petal here. Okay, and then the inside part of the petals, you can see here I've got a darker purple. So what I'm going to do with that is actually I'm going to use to my advantage the fact that when you go over the highlighting a second time it makes it darker so I'm using the same color I'm just gonna go over it twice isn't that cool so you know your purples are gonna match because you're using the same color it's just a darker shade and then for the yellow in the middle I'm gonna grab my yellow color and I'm going to do these little circles and the outside of them as well because I'm going to show you. And you can see here where the inside these little circles is a lighter color and then outside it's a darker color. So again, all I did here is I'm going to go over this part 
a second time and that's going to make it darker okay and then let's get uh, this is what I used for this rosy color in the middle and for this part I used one layer and for the middle I went over it twice to make it the darker and then I use this light blue as the background so anywhere to me where it looks like because I want it to kind of look like sky so it's kind of hard to tell and there's no right or wrong you can just kind of play with it whatever you can imagine to fill in and I just like the way that that looks to make it kind of open and airy feeling to have the blue in the background there and then for these little uh, ribbon type places I also use this same rose color and for the parts that look like they're behind I'm gonna go over it twice so that it's darker so that piece looks like it's going behind and then I believe for this other part I used a lighter pink let's see if it was this one no oh, that one's too light I think I used this one because the whatever you color you choose when you use it as a highlighter it's going to be lighter Oops, I keep leaving a white spot. Let me get it all in there. And then for this little decorative piece right here, I use the pink for the insides. Oh, not that pink. Let's see. I use the lighter. And then for the middles, I went over it, I think, three times. Because then here, the middle three times. And then the next one up here, I went over it twice. And then this one just once. And then I put the blue and the little in-between spots here and then for this outline again I use the purple this one and so for the outside I'm gonna go over it twice to make it that dark purple and then this inside part one so isn't that fun this is uh, I'm doing this study around around Easter this is actually Good Friday today and this uh, Lamb of God study can be done any time of year but um, I actually started it a couple of weeks before Easter and it's very relevant uh, because Jesus was called the Lamb of God and he was slain so that's talking about when he was crucified on the cross which of course is Good Friday and then he rose again on uh, the third day which is when we celebrate Easter or Resurrection Sunday so that's one of the reasons why I chose this color palette is because it looks uh, very Eastery springish to me so then let me show you how I'm going to do the letters so you can do the letters using the highlighter but with this script here I found it was difficult to 
do the whole thing without picking up my pencil. So you can do it, but when you get a longer word like that, it gets kind of difficult. So what I'm going to do is actually go to the pen, and I've got the uh, fountain pen chosen. And then I'm going to choose this dark purple. And now with the pen, it's going to cover up any of the black. So you have to be uh, more careful of where you go. However, you can pick up your pencil as many times as you need to. So I found that easier for these letters to do it this way. So this scripture is from John. It is John verse John chapter 1 verse 29 and it's John the Baptist talking and he says he sees Jesus and he says behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Now for these letters here the Lamb of God since they're not all connected like this I am going to go ahead and use the highlighter for them and I think I'm going to do them in yellow. And I don't have to be that careful with it. I can go pretty fast. I don't have to worry about covering up the black edges because it just pops right behind it. So I find this very relaxing and helping me to just uh, de-stress and meditate on the word um, when I get into just doing the coloring and everything that actually what it's doing in your brain is you're switching from using your left side of your brain over to the right side of your brain and the right side of your brain is the the left side is more analytical logical um, the right side is more uh, creative it's more of what the Bible speaks about is your heart and it's really more how you connect with God using the right side of your brain rather than the left analytical logical because if you know if you've ever read the Bible it is not logical faith is not logical um, the scripture that says the only thing one of the only places in the Bible where it's like talking about being logical and reasoning is God says, come, let us reason together. Though your sins were as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. And of course, that doesn't make any sense logically. So I find that this helps me to just connect with Jesus in, in a more intimate, deep way and be able to hear his voice and to discern what he is trying to say to me. So I hope that you enjoy that too. And let's see, I was also going to show you that you can, if you uh, do something and you don't like it, it's very easy. And one of the reasons why I love doing, doing it digitally here on my iPad is one of the things is you can it's very easy to erase and redo something and I can have all of these colors you can do custom and you can pick any uh, just any color you want you know any color imaginable you can choose and yet I don't have to have boxes and boxes of pens and markers and all kinds of things. I just have it all right here in my iPad and so I can do it wherever I am and uh, can take it with me easily, can do it sitting in my comfy chair, I can do it in bed or I can do it if I'm traveling. So. 
that is one of the reasons why I am really enjoying doing this digitally. So it, again, if you're interested in getting this journal, you can find the link in the description below. And I also have other coloring pages and things that are available for you to use digitally on your iPad at my website at jodit.com as well. Just click the shop link and let me know if you have any questions. I plan to do some more tutorials about coloring digitally. So if you have questions, put them in the comments and then I will know what to do future videos on. So thank you for watching and have a happy Easter.